<laughs> what size, TV? Good? Oh, okay, what's the hunt? Good? Is your belly in shape? Oh my God. <laughs> gonna play? You're Today? Back? Back oh, to play now? No, I'm tired. Retired now, huh? Good to see you, my friend. This is nice good. Nice and good. Yeah. Family. Good. Good. Look at this. Amazing. Huh? How can I can play with this? Can be. No complaint. What that is good. What Thank a life, huh? I remember your first yeah. training. I don't remember in V Man. Yeah, yeah it was so I'd never in my life seen a player like that in my life. I remember. I didn't know who he was. He was doing possession. And he would not lose the ball. Oh yeah. And I kept thinking in my head like, okay, this next time he would not lose the ball. It was just, I was like, I don't know who this guy is. Amazing. Then we went to Argentina and I was injured. And I was watching pre my ankle was injured. And he scored like five goals every game, I remember, in preseason in Argentina. We played with bad teams, but he still was scoring <laughs> yeah. five goals a game. We were excited oh to play against River Play, but yeah, we so next to really <laughs> <laughs> And it was raining, and like, but no, I remember just seeing that first change of scene. I've never saw a player like that in my life. I never. And he's just yeah. like, his small foot, like this. And he would shoot the ball, and he, oh my god. So let's talk about the first year, 2009. Um, the first game in Sounders history is the Freddie Montero game. You scored the first goal, <laughs> you scored the third goal, you announced yourself to MLS. Everybody started watching who is this kid in Seattle, this Colombian. And, but what's your memories from that game? For me, everything was new, you know. Uh, the Anton, uh, all the, the fireworks. Uh, it was a nice um, entry in the game. But scoring the first goal, I mean, that, that's something that I was dreaming about. And after that, we had this great celebration where we include uh, and John. John Kenny Hurtado, Ozzy Alonso, and in the back we have a club, San and <laughs> <laughs> uh, He missed one or two practice, so that's why he couldn't uh, uh, dance with us. My God, that was amazing. I wanted to go to the locker room and call my parents and say, hey, finally, first game I scored two goals. I'm, I'm, I'm here and everybody knows that who, who I am now. Are you Benfica fans? Or sporting? Maybe Benfica, but they have to be here early. When I came, we won the Portuguese Cup. Yeah. And I scored a goal in the final. Mm -hmm. In the last minute, 93 minutes. So people, wow. after that, people like really like me here. Wow. Whenever we go out, like for lunch, dinner, or whatever, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. always nice enough. Yeah. Even. Basically, it's the same as Portland and Seattle. Their rivalry is always there. They are two teams from the same city in this case. And uh, yeah, Benfica, the, the past years, have been winning the league. Um, but Sporting, as, as always, is a team with uh, a good history. It's a team that created two uh, players with a, a Ballon de Oro, Luis Figo and Cristiano Ronaldo, and I had the opportunity to come here and help them. Not one time, but two times at the age of 31. It's because I am doing something good and I'm happy to be here. For a kid from where you're from, where I think most people in Barranquilla, maybe they go their whole life, they don't leave the area, the neighborhood. Yeah. You've gone around the world, you've lived everywhere. How has being around the world changed you? What can I tell you, Steve? Honestly, you're a good player, but when you move from one team to other, a good player is going to come, or even better than you. I think the most important thing that I learned from soccer and moving... In the past five years, we moved to four continents, you know, America, Europe, Asia. You have to be a, a good person, you know. Uh, fans will love you, fans will remember you, and when you have the potential to move to different teams, you show who you are as a player. And I, and I always think, like, okay, if this team is... Uh, looking to have me there, it's because they see something, some value in me, in my game. And that's what I always try to do, just play my game. I don't try to uh, do something different than all I am. Was it weird to play against Seattle? It was, yeah. The first game was really weird. 
was it good to score against Seattle? It was. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, how was it, especially the playoffs when you came to CenturyLink? Was this a place where you helped build um, and now you were trying to make them sad? Like, so how was, yeah, how was that night for you? Well, <laughs> I told you to don't ask me this question, Steve. Oh my gosh. I, I did it too, I went to Portland, it's worse. So. <laughs> um, let me tell you, uh, it's, it's our job, you know. Uh, it's part of our job to, to play and defend the colors and, and the team that we're playing for. But let me tell you, after the first game, I think the fans in Seattle expected me. I think when I went to uh, play or, or the warm up, I, I see a lot of people from Seattle like telling me like, hey, happy that you're back in MLS. We're sad that you're not in Seattle, but, but good for you, you know? But don't score today, they say that. <laughs> We won Open Cup in DC our first yeah, year. DC, yeah. He the scored. Step on he me stepped on you, and we yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah and he scored a yeah. winning goal. I headed it to Lumberg. Lumberg shot, rebound. Yeah, rebound. He came. Into, yeah, see, I remember it was. Yeah, and then, and then Ziggy took us off. <laughs> Ziggy subbed me and him to preserve the league, and they almost scored. Yeah, we came off, um, and we was on the bench. And there's a video of it. I was hugging you on the bench like this, counting down the time, and then the whistle went. Oh man, it was wow. Then we but won yeah, it again. The first one is always the that most was memorable. One a cup. Memorable. Yeah, the no, first year. First US Open Cup, the first uh, playoff game. Yeah, the first, the first game, the yeah. first goal. When you look back now, you've played in big clubs, big teams. How do you talk to people about your time in Seattle? Well, uh, I would like to say that um, I remember our group, 2009, 2010, 11, with all the respect with for the guys that came after, but we somehow we make what is Seattle now, you know, we set the foundation and uh, I'm just happy because I still see your face, your good looking face <laughs> and we still talk to other guys like if we see each other, you know, and it was like we played yesterday, you know, that's what I feel and, and, and it's something that always going to connect to us because we start from zero and now 10 years after that, we still have that memory and that, that connection. When I, when I get around you, I remember just how much fun we had back then. The trainings, the playing in the locker room, laughing, the pranks we used to do, make fun of people, FIFA, whatever it was. And I'm really happy to see where your career has gone. Um, I still follow, it makes me really happy. And um, I don't know, maybe one day at my charity game, we'll share the pitch again together. Well, but if we right. played our last game together, for me, some of the best years was playing alongside you. Thank you, my friend. Always a pleasure, Freddie. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Ball across to Montero. He chests it down. Freddie Montero, is this the moment? Freddie Montero has done it for Seattle. A cool head under pressure by Freddie Montero. A reminder of when he's on form, what he can do.